and good evening. I'm going to review your teams now. Oh god, this is a really annoying setup. Okay. I'll just start in the order that the thing has it set up. First, Jerry. Jerry has some considerable sweetness on his team with Buster Posey and Troy Tulowitzki. He has some power in his outfield, but lacks speed on his team in general on offense, with only Coco Crisp providing any more than about 15 steals. Felix Hernandez and Adam Wainwright, along with Johnny Cueto and Fernando Rodney, found out a solid pitching staff, and John Lester is a great value pick. Jerry's lack of speed and probably lack of batting average leaves him at about a B. Next up, Zach Klein. Klein's team is headlined by Miguel Cabrera, and he also has Hanley Ramirez and the always solid Matt Holliday. However, the rest of his offense is a bit lacking. Carlos Santana could be okay, and Michael Bourne will give him steals, but nothing else, as will Ben Revere, so Klein should be set in steals. Pitching-wise, Steven Strasburg, you fucker, you fucking stole him, and Gio Gonzalez, are you a Phillies hater now? Are you picking all the Nationals? Uh, and Ari Dickey and James Shields, a solid top four starters, and Joel Hanrahan and Sergio Romo should be good closers. His pitching staff helps him out, and he definitely wins some categories while his team's underwhelming as far as steals and such, so I'll give Klein a B plus. Okay, next up is Morano, and he has a really nice <laughs> Tim Tebow victory in the rain. Uh, first pick was Matt Kemp, a solid pick. And the rest of his offense I really don't like at all. Um, Pedroia, I mean, he's at a rare position, but he's kind of meh. I had him last year. Brett Laurie, if he lives up to his potential, could be good. Ellsbury is really questionable whether he's going to be back again. Corey Spangenberg is a really great value pick and could potentially be the steal of the draft. However, Morano's pitching staff. Uh, at the top two are Kershaw and Hamels, which is... Really, really good. And Rafael Soriano is a pretty good closer. After that, it gets pretty ugly. Moreno gets a C+. Next up is John. John has an actually a good value pick at Willian Rosario, a catcher. I actually like that. And Paul Goldschmidt is a great pick. I kind of wish I got him. However, his offense really lacks... A star player. Cargo is so inconsistent. He's good, but he's inconsistent. I don't know if I trust Austin Jackson or Carlos Gomez and Carl Crawford's whatever at this point. His pitching staff is headlined by Verlander and Cliff Lee, which is awesome. So his team's basically Moreno's team all over again. Except I think he has a little bit more upside on his offense. So he gets a B minus just because his offense is he's got potential for better. But a lot of guys I don't know about. And the pitching staff is weak after his top two starters and Aralis Chapman. Who's going to definitely close, I think. Next up is Assad. He auto-picked. And he came out. Alright, he's got Pujols, Encarnacion, Upton, Hayward. So that's four pretty damn good offensive guys. But that means his pitching staff suffers. His number one pitcher is Madison Bumgarner and then Matt Latos. And then it just gets worse and worse after that. He'll be fine on offense. He's pretty good, damn good on offense. But his, Oh, he's got both Upton brothers. Oh, God. Jerry, watch out. But his pitching is absolutely awful. So I give him... Uh, I'm going to go C-plus again. Just because he's really good on offense, but his pitching is terrible. Not his fault, I guess, though. Next up's Dave. Dave definitely looked like he was... By looking at his team, you could definitely tell he was drunk when he was drafting. It's pretty terrible. Andrew McCutcheon's overrated. He shouldn't be drafted that high, but he is. Hamilton, I don't know. I don't know what I think about him this year. Um, he's got a lot of Yankees. And they're all gonna, they're all hurt or going to be hurt. Gardner's a big pickup, but he's starting Granderson and Teixeira, who both aren't playing for the first month, so that's good. Um, his number one pitcher on this team is a relief pitcher in Kimbrell, so that should never happen. But CC and, oh, God, just, just all Yankees. All right, Jared Parker is the only guy I like on his pitching staff as an actual value pick. I'm going to give Davis C-. minus. Now Smertz. 
Starts his uh, headline by his top two positions are both Royals, Sal Perez and Billy Butler, which is whatever. Evan Longoria should be good if he stays healthy. j is a good pick. He's got Braun and Bautista, so definitely some power potential, as well as Trumbo. And Nelly Cruz and Pedro Alvarez. This team should have a lot of home runs, but he's going to have a really shitty batting average, probably. Um, if Braun doesn't get suspended, then yeah. Pitching staff, he's got Weaver and Greinke. I don't know what Greinke's elbow is doing right now, but... And he has... I mean, his ERA is probably going to be a little high. Um, the staff in general, actually, will probably be a little high ERA, except for Weaver. Morrow has a high ERA. Doesn't really have an established closer. Edison Reed could be all right. Freire is going to stop closing after Madsen gets back. I guess Smurts, uh, I don't know, it's pretty underwhelming. A lot of power. Past that, I don't see much else. Give him a B-. minus. Pitching staff is at least respectable top two if they perform well. Uh, now Jeff. Jeff has... Votto and Jose Reyes and Prince. Prince and Votto, that's interesting. And Yenis Cespedes. I like him a lot. And Shinsu Chu and Ichiro, lots of, lots of Asians. Um, offense is pretty damn good. I mean, having Votto and Fielder seems a bit excessive, but also just pretty awesome at the same time. And it's got good balance. Zimmerman's good, and then Reyes is good for steals. Pitching staff, Matt Kane and Jordan Zimmerman won too. Zimmerman's underrated. Kane's a good number one pitcher, I guess. He's got Roy Halladay, which is dangerous as shit, but his pitching staff isn't the worst, and his offense is really good. I give Jeff a B. Connor, um, David Wright, John Carlos Stanton, Adam Jones, the Milk Man. I don't. Who was his first round? Pick? Oh, he's got Robinson Cano. Go away. So, I don't know, his offense is pretty solid, I guess. A lot of power, but no average anywhere. Eesh. Uh, except, uh, no, not really, not really that much average. David Wright, maybe. And pitching staff, first pitcher is Yu Darvish. And then Papelbon. Eh, and then it goes really, really far downhill. That's a, This team is like a C. And my team, I'll do a review for my team, I guess. Uh, I got... Adrian Gonzalez, Bryce Harper, Chase Utley. It's going to come back, I promise. Mauer Power, headlined by uh, David Price and the pitching staff, and Chris Sale. Two good lefties, but Chris Sale is kind of risky. Chris Medlin, I think he sucks, but I'm, I still picked him. Matt Harvey is going to be sweet, mark my words. Kenley Jansen better get the starting job. Overall, this team is like a... Like a B minus. Oh, wait a second. I missed one player. Oh, first outfielder is Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Let me check him out real quick. Oh, God. He's the greatest player of all time. Okay, well, that's going to take what I say B minus. That takes this team up to a solid B plus. B plus because of Michael Trout. Okay. I'll have to look into him a little more, but he looks like a good player. So there's your team reviews. Uh, this year's draft was hard. There's not a lot of good players everywhere. It's hard to do. So none of the teams got A's. Um, the auto pick teams, well, Jeff's ended up okay, but he also came in and fixed it at the end. I don't know. There's your team reviews. Uh, I got nothing else for you. Enjoy your fantasy baseball season. I'm going to turn off this flashlight now. It's hurting my eyes. Okay, see ya.